Today's question is where does our rubbish go? And because rubbish is something we see, look who'll be helping us. The standby neurons. I might need help from all of you today. Okay. Let's go. Sham will be finding out all about rubbish. Rotten rubbish, noisy rubbish, even really smelly rubbish. So today, for one day only, Hisham and his sister Rania become the experimenters. Oh. Hi everyone! Hi Eva! Well, I can see you're really busy putting your rubbish away in the bins and Oh, I can see there's a lot. And Hisham, your question is, where does our rubbish go? So why do you want to know that? We've got lots of rubbish and I was wondering where it goes in the bin lorry. Okay, well to help answer your question, I think we need to take a little trip. So, are you ready? Yeah! Excellent, let's go! where our rubbish is brought when the bin lorry takes it away. This is a landfill site and normally people aren't allowed to come and look around the landfill site but we have special permission. Oh look, the lorries are just arriving. I wonder if your rubbish is in there. And when the rubbish arrives, they put it into the ground and cover it with soil. If it's in the ground, Nina, why is there still so much lying about? We well, see, burying rubbish isn't a very good way of getting rid of the things that we don't need. It's a bit like trying to tidy your bedroom by putting your smelly socks and your broken toys underneath your bed. Soon there would be so much there, there's no more room left. And that's just what's happening at landfill sites. Because there's so much rubbish going into the ground, they're filling up and soon there may be no room left. Where would the rubbish go then? Ah, well perhaps there are other places the rubbish could go before the landfill sites become too full. I've got an idea. Let's go! Okay guys, we need to find out if there are other places where our rubbish can go. And that's why we've come here. More bins, Nina! Don't worry bud, these bins are different. They're called recycling bins because the rubbish we put in them can be used again. And we can put lots of rubbish that we would normally put in our bins at home in these bins instead. Like what, Nina? Ah, well I've put symbols in the front of these bins and it tells us what type of rubbish goes in them. So let's try and work it out. What do you think goes in this bin here? Plastic. That's right, plastic. You can put things like plastic bottles in there. So what do you think you can put in this bin? Paper. Yes, correct. Well done. And what rubbish do we think we'd put in there? Glass. That's right. Although we do need to remember and be careful when handling anything made of glass. It's really important to get the right bit of rubbish in the right bin. The symbols on the front will tell them all they need to know. I think you're ready to play a little recycling game. And I brought something with me to help us. The rubbish from my bin. Really, Nina? Bringing out your old rubbish? That's not very nice. Don't worry, Felix. Everything's washed, so it's clean. <laughs> okay, what I want you guys to do is pick something from the bag, decide what it's made of, and then put it in the right recycling bin. Are you ready to recycle? Okay, Nina! Oh, that's it. Pull it out. If you have a good look at rubbish, you can normally tell what it is. Good job, Rania. These guys are really good at this. Listen to the tinkling and smashing of the glass as it falls into the bin. Wow, everything's gone. All that I've got left is this old paper. So we have managed to recycle everything that was in my rubbish bin. Thanks, guys. Lots of things can be recycled, and when we recycle rubbish, it doesn't go to the landfill site. It goes to special recycling factories so it can be used again. How can the recycling factories turn old rubbish into new things? Good question, Hisham. And I've still got this old paper. That gives me an idea for another experiment. Let's go! 
Okay, so far we've found out that the rubbish we put in our bins goes to the landfill site. But this isn't a very good way to get rid of the things we don't want. A better way is to put it in recycling bins. Then it can be collected and used again. And now we're going to see just how we can recycle rubbish by turning this old paper into new paper. Shall we get recycling? Yeah! Fantastic. Now, the first thing we need to do is rip up some paper. So there's some for you, Hisham. We need to make it into really small pieces. Listen to the lovely tearing sound of the paper. Now, we just need enough water to soak all the paper. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get mashing. How's it going? Do you think the paper's mushy enough? Yeah! Yeah? I think it's time for the next step. Let's bring the basin full of water around here. Excellent. Spread it out, but try not to lose too much paper over the sides. Ooh. Let's just bring this around here. Here we are. Right, let's just... Open this out to take the wooden frame onto the piece of paper, turn over this paper so we can use that to soak it up as well. Everyone get your hands in there, squeeze to soak up all that water. Good job guys. Okay, now let's open this up. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, and now... Careful Nina, you need a steady hand for this job. Look at that! Well, it's really starting to look like paper, isn't it? Just get our hands dried off and shut Because what we're going to use to really dry off this paper is a hair dryer. Here we are. Lift the wet newspaper away. There we go. Look at that. We have made a brand new sheet of paper. We managed to recycle the old paper to make new paper. And it's just like what happens in recycling factories, except they have big machines to do it and they make a lot more paper. Brilliant, Nina! Yeah, it's brilliant. And there's lots of other things we can recycle at home too. We can make sure we reuse carrier bags that we get when we're out shopping, and we can reuse old bits of paper and envelopes to write and draw on. <laughs> had great fun guys. Recycling rubbish is really good fun. So Hisham, you asked where does our rubbish go and I think we've answered your question. The rubbish we put in our bins goes to a landfill site. However, soon there'll be no more room there so we should recycle it. If we put our rubbish in recycling bins, it means it gets reused and less goes to the landfill site which helps protect our planet. Thanks, Nina. We're going to recycle lots now. Oh, brilliant. I'm glad to hear it. Because most rubbish can be recycled, so just stop and think before you throw anything out. We will, Nina. Well, well, help protect our planet. Go eco. Go eco. Walk to school. I really enjoyed myself today, but the smell of the landfill site was a little bit whiffy. Ah, it's been such a great day, man, seeing all the different types of rubbish you can recycle. Oh, I've had a brilliant day, hearing the clinking and clanking of Nina's rubbish as it went into the recycling bins. I've had a fabby day! I really liked it when everyone was mashing up the paper till it went all gilly! It's been a marvellous day. It was so interesting seeing how old paper can be turned into new. We've had a sensational time today. I hope you've enjoyed it too. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.